Hey, I'm Brady Volk. Are you? Are you really? I try to be. <laughs> John Downey. <laughs> and we're at uh, Cable Expo 24 in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, it's great to be here. Yeah. It's actually to be see a lot of people now, uh, old timers. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big hurricane that came through, unfortunately, which like a bunch of people yeah. left early, but we're still here. Lots of cool technology, lots of DOCSIS 4.0 stuff, 1.8 gigahertz amplifiers, AI is the big talk. What are the things you've seen, John? Uh, you know, we haven't even really got far with DOCSIS 4.0 yet, um, but there was talk about DOCSIS 5.0, which yes. is interesting. Uh, it talks about three gigahertz, five gigahertz on the downstream. DOCSIS 5.0 going to 25 gigabit per second, even though we're still going with that mantra of 10G, 10 gigabit per second. Right. Um, High splits, I mean, three, was it 385 is the... Uh, 396. 396 is, yeah. the, is the split of choice that lots of people are talking about. On the show floor, definitely lots of equipment. Uh, there's a new CMTS that uh, Vesema has out that they're talking about, so VCMTS. Uh, so equipment that you can actually see, equipment that vendors are talking about. They're shipping not just small quantities, but a lot of equipment being shipped out. 3.1 plus the or 3.1 extended DOCSIS 4.0 equipment, DOCSIS 4.0 modems, things that we were just really talking about last year, now is actually coming to fruition and being deployed out in the field. So, yeah, I'm I'm, a, I'm subcontracting for Technetics, and one of the things we keep harping on is how do I upgrade my cable plant without having to cut out tap face plates, cut out tap ho or amplifier housings. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with the lack of uh, workforce that's out there or lack thereof. Yeah. Um, so to be able to plug and play equipment that can go to 1.8 gigahertz, work in an FDX environment, work in the extended spectrum DOCSIS environment, uh, change my diplex filter maybe on the fly, or there might be no diplex filter at all, no pads and EQs, so self-leveling. I know, uh, I think ATX has that, yeah. AOI has that, Technetic. Everyone, you know, sees what's kind of cool in the industry and everyone follows each other and Yep. You know, you make what people are going to buy. So if you like those pads and EQs, hold on to them because they're going away. And you're going to have self-leveling, auto-adjusting amplifiers, things like that. So the future is here, folks, in the cable industry. And this was the place to see it. If you missed it, be sure to come to Cable Expo next year or tune in for our next live stream. We'll be covering it in more detail. So, John, great to see you in person again. It was an awesome show. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And we'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs> Work on those cows. <laughs> they grow into cows. It's uh it's tech expo. Oh yeah. Tech expo. Cable lab slash SCT tech expo. Wait, uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait.